guys welcome back to my channel and today a little bit different setup uh, actually have it outside on the different table and this is your input drum assembly we're gonna be putting the spring in there and compressing it and uh, I'm gonna show you a little things and tricks that I used in order to do it at home they are, uh, they are specifically asking for a press, which I don't, I don't have one. So I have this little jig over here that I made. Also, it asks for a tool, which looks like this, which is $130, $140. So I went and I made my own. I might put in this video also how to make it uh, also this is a special tool also that you're gonna need and this is from the Mitsubishi there is your part number right there you can use either Mitsubishi one or you can use a Chrysler one as well I think it's 5059 Chrysler tool I, I can't remember on top of my head but anyway we in the last video we assembled this drum in this video we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to put these springs in and just do it quick all right so first thing first get your ATF um, plus four uh, automatic transmission automatic transmission fluid stands for ATF coated all around make sure that you have your uh, o-ring on the side right here goes all the way around you have that one then done coat it really good make sure there's no debris in it dirt also your snap ring on top make sure you don't forget that then we're gonna have our spring we're gonna clean it really good I'm gonna code that too nothing special just that goes on top of the this, this part right here okay so that goes on top of it put that aside wipe this really good clean it and then we're gonna coat it with a transmission fluid don't rem don't forget that this <laughs> drum assembly over here is probably the most important part about this transmission if you do this right you can do rest easy it has a little notch make sure that those notches are going with this part right here with this notch as well before we put it it actually uh, in the manual it asks for assembly lube which uh, I don't think it matters as long as it's, it has something to go on should be fine put it in there coat it <coughs> clean the brush Coat it again. Clean the brush again. All right, now we're gonna place the spring in there. Ah, uh, next part right here. This is brand new, right? So you want to get this part brand new. I forgot what it is called, but I'm going to have it up here. Uh, you want to always have this part brand new. If you can, don't reuse it. Coat it really good. All right. Right there. 
So you need a quite a bit of force to compress this in. And you can't do it by, by yourself, by hand. So also, in order to prevent this from damaging, which is going to hit one of the sides and then strip it, you need this guide. This all it is, this is just a guide that sits on top of the the bottom part. It's flush and then this goes on it in there. Like so. Then we have this snap ring right here. Get that ready. Snap ring pliers right here, ready to. And then move this aside. And then we're gonna pull this one down like so. As, as you can see, that's how it works. It just compresses that thing in there. The way I did it first time. There it is. All right, so the snap ring next. The flat side goes up. So this is kind of concaved but the flat side goes up so get the Alright, clean your snap ring really good. Uh, flat side goes up, even though they're really similar. But you can see where these have, right here, sorry. You can see where these have touched and made. So that would go down, and this is the top part. Alright, so. We're going to push it down, push down on it. Jump in on one side. <sighs> oh, finally got it. Now we're going to pull the, the special tool. And as you can see, That bring is in there. Alright, now we're gonna take it to the
inside and we're gonna continue working on this so yeah Next thing is clean all the debris or dirt you have in there that fell in there while putting it together. It's uh, it's crazy that manual does not mention this the snap ring. Usually it says, on the other ones it says uh, the gap right here is a quarter inch on this one. It doesn't even mention it. It just says install the snap ring and that's it. of dirt that fell in there anyway you see how it looks now like I said pay attention of the snap ring you want it all the way in check it like so uh, next thing is of course your your clutches okay right. 